you at, man? Your house is empty. Oh, hey. I had to kind of lay low for a while. Yeah, that nice Mexican we met. Me and T did that job for him, and we fell out. You gotta be joking. I wish I was. So where you at now? <sighs> Desert, out by Alamo Sea. All right, well, I'll hit you if I find anything. Absolutely. Uh, oh, hey. Trevor's got his wife. Trevor's got a wife? No, no, the Mexican's wife. What? <laughs> Shit, I don't know what to say about that one. Nothing. Nothing to say about that. Run! Run! I'm back! Coming, Trevor! Uh, bring me my coffee, I'm gonna cut your arm off. Absolutely! Who the hell's that, your maid? Oh, business partner. Good guy. Very loyal. Ron, Ron, that is Michael. And this is Patricia. <laughs> Listen, beautiful. You know, I'm sorry about everything that's happened. And I, you know, I can't guarantee no harm's gonna come to you. I might have to chop you up into little pieces before spraying your pulp mess down the drain, but I really hope it doesn't come to that. I appreciate your honesty. You are a good man. I can see that. You need your eyes examined, then. Ron, you miss me? Yeah, Trevor, a bit, I mean. How's the fucking business? I, I, I tried. If you're gonna give me a sob story, I'm gonna rip your fucking throat out and shove a turd down the hole. It's not a sob story. It's just not quite come good yet. But I heard about something to do with Meriwether. Mm, those assholes Big again. cache of weapons they got coming in. So I thought you might want to, uh, requisition mm. it. Fantastic! Let's go! Come in. Whoa, no, 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 not you. Sit down. You're a wanted man. Stay low. Now watch her, okay? She's a good lady. Let's go, Ron. Good to meet you, Michael. Fucking come on, let's go! The weapons are coming in by air. We've got a plane over at the airstrip, but... Right, let's go! What are you going to do? We're not going to take out a private army on the ground, Ron. we got to meet them in the air. I... Uh, well... Okay, well, look, I knew that you were pissed after the Merriweather heist, giving back the hardware. That was bullshit! Right, right. So I've been monitoring chatter, tapping into Meriwether networks. Feels good to be back in the company of a professional. I gotta say, I got it. Now, I was expecting something a little more impressive. The late, great Michael Townley. Not so late and not so great, right? And no longer called Townley. The years have not been terribly have not been terribly kind. What's the end game, man? We had a good thing going without him. If it's such a good thing, where's my money, huh? Crop duster? That's the best we can do? Get in touch with my Mexican contact. Tell him we got some guns to sell. I'll get you on the CV. Place to ask, but how exactly do you get 
plan on requisitioning this equipment, and you caught up to them. Whoa! One step at a time, Ronald! Let's just get there first! Keep low! Remember! Don't want to give them reason to think you're suspect! Altitude's just fine, Ron. I'm acutely aware of. Enough! You've got to defend, man. The military will be all over you. I'm plenty low enough, Ron. Control of this. You're on the radar, Trevor. Lose altitude. Altitude's just fine, Ron. Keep low. Remember, don't want to give them reason to think you're suspect. In a 1989 crop duster, just enjoying the beautiful San Andreas weather. Unidentified aircraft, divert your course, and we will be forced to shoot you down. Shoot me down? Now that's not very sociable. Final warning: divert, or you will be grounded. My fate's in your hands.
it in the cargo hold! E A A! Close!
Oh, nice place you got here. Oh, yeah, it's easy to mock, isn't it, huh? Cheap and fucking easy. <laughs> but uh, this, this here is my place, and my work paid for my place. All right, relax. I was just being sarcastic. Yeah, well, don't be, all right? Because the world doesn't need any more sarcasm. It's the blight of the age. Yeah, I get the point. You, you don't get the point. You're like every other asshole. You made a bit of money, and you became a turd. I got news for you. I was always a turd. No! You weren't, man. You were something. But now, man, you know, you're like this place. You're a shell. Go fuck yourself. Are you some kind of pure, morally justifiable asshole? What, because you're, you're, you're totally psychotic, somehow it's okay? I'm honest, all right? You're the hypocrite. Oh, yeah, you're a fucking hero. So far above it all. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm not above ripping open your fucking chest to see what's replaced your heart. Rip it open. See what's there, baby, because I'm ready. Hello? Oh, ladies, ladies, what's up? Fuck off! Listen. I'm sorry, but we've got a problem. Government funding thing. We need you to, uh, uh, investigate a research lab upstate. It's about terrorism, the big one, nerve gas, biological terror. Thank God I don't pay tax. Uh, listen, you'll need some fairly standard gear. A boat, tandem rotor heavy lift helicopter, truck, weapons. You'll have to source all of that. <laughs> Chopper alone will set you back a couple of mil. Oh, no worries there. Trevor here, he just came into a lot of money. Is that sarcasm? Oh, you're fucking A right at sarcasm. You fuck. A few weeks ago, I was happily retired, sulking by my swimming pool. And my psychotic best friend shows up out of nowhere to torture me over mistakes I made, honest mistakes I made over a decade ago. We, our little posse, are flat fucking broke. But hey, let's go out and spend $2 million on a tandem rotor fucking chopper so I can go steal nerve gas from fucking terrorists. Forgive me, you ignorant fuck. But sarcasm is all I fucking got. Sarcasm and a room full of you cunts. Yes. Woo. Welcome back, man. It is the old you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we gotta go. It's been great, but Dave here's got a Pilates class. Now, remember, ladies, you keep us way out of this thing. Bye-bye. Ah, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. All right, I'll give Lester a fucking call. He said he knew about something. Now, you tell him that we're driving towards Polito Bay. Get in the car. I'm calling Lester. What now? We got a funding problem. So we need a job. Before the jewel store, you talked about a score, a, a bank in the sticks. I need you to meet us there. Polito Bay, right? That's the one. I'll get on a bus. All right, Lester's meeting us there. Don't start. I won't. No way. Good call. If you're taking down a bank for a few million, first thing you do is call the hospital, tell them to get you a guy in a wheelchair. Oh. This AC bank, you gonna be carrying that kind of change? Local law enforcement extort money from all the weed farms, whorehouses, meth kitchens in the area. They keep their cash in safe deposit boxes. Then there's all the normal small town payroll stuff. We should do well. You know, I've been thinking about you, Trevor. Your lifestyle. Oh, have you? Really? Yes, I have. People always try to label you, you know? Maniac, psycho, friend, industry leader. Well, in some ways you defy categorization. But then... What? Think about it. Where you live. Sandy Shores, you precious ass. I'm sorry there ain't a place nearby for you to get your colonics. Right. But why are you out here? It's off the grid. We're away from it all. It's somewhere real and authentic. This is America! 
And real people ain't been priced out yet. Yeah, well, what if it gets gentrified? Then I'll fucking move. Okay. What about the way you dress? What about it? I don't give a shit what I wear. No, no, no. If you don't give a shit, you wear clean clothes that fit. So yours are all a little out there, you know, a little wacky. Whatever's in the shop is what I get. Jesus, what, what is this? It's not an absence of taste, T. It's the opposite of taste. You should be a stylist. And then there's the tattoos, the hair, the weird music, the funny toys, the niche drugs, the everything. What the fuck are we talking about? You are a hipster. What? You're a hipster. I hate hipsters. Classic hipster denial. I abhor hipsters. I eat them for fun. <laughs> hipsters love saying they hate hipsters. What I really fucking do? Self-hatred. Common hipster affliction. Why, well, it because I'm living out here away from the bean machines and the bankers. You're gentrifying. Soon, the skinny jeans will show up, then the skinny lattes, and then the bankers. And you'll be somewhere else, starting the cycle all over again. Maybe you're not a classic garden variety hipster, but you're what the hipsters aspire to be. You, Trevor, are the proto-hipster. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't agree with what you're saying. The bus stops up here. All right. How long does it take us to get out here from L.S.? <sighs> Come on, man. Knock it off. What? I'm gonna break your fucking fingers, you don't knock that shit off. Well, please, all right? You'd alleviate the boredom. Ah, finally. Hey. 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 Welcome to paradise. Come on, car's this way. It's dry out here. Don't worry, brother. Mark will take care of all your moisturizing needs. Mm. Oh. Shall we? Might as well get started. Drive us to the bank. I will go to the front of the bank, clock the entrance. If the paperwork's correct, the alarm will be a relic. We should be in and out before the local PD knows what's happening. <laughs> That's the entrance to the bank. Nothing special. Uh, take us around back. Okay. I like it. Man, the place is remote. It's got the right amount of foot traffic. This'll do. Mm -hmm. It's not ideal. It's gonna cost more to break that system than the score's gonna pay. Well, we're gonna have to find a new score. No, 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 uh-uh, no. This is the score. Right. What are our options? It's a dumb idea, but we could trigger the alarm. See what kind of response they throw out. That is a dumb idea. Hey! You heard the man, all right? Shoot the sucker. Okay. I brought my police scanner. Now drive over to the gas station opposite the bank, and we'll monitor chatter. All right. All cars in the area, please respond. Polito cars 3, 6, 9, and 1 will be there in 50 seconds. Roger that. Four units. Backup team at station is available. Uh, they've dispatched four cars in 60 seconds and more on standby. And it isn't even 30 victor shots fired. Oh, this is a real headache. What do you got on the clock? 40 seconds. This is Polito security. Any updates on the code 30 Adam? Backup ready to mobilize. This is not normal. The response is out of proportion. Cops in this county are dirty. And the alarm just went off on their piggy bank. This is them. 
What is that, a 67 second response time? Yeah, four cars. More in the wings. Bad cops, garden dirty money. Fuck how many? We can take this! Wait right here. We'll see if anything about their routine suggests a weakness. Polito Radio, this is Polito Car 3. We have a code 12. False alarm. Possibly triggered intentionally. Roger that. We're gonna set up checkpoints on the Great Ocean Highway and the Sonora Freeway. Car to car searches and record checks. Checkpoints? Searches? Fuck this! I ain't getting caught because Lester needs a wheelchair. Hey! Wheelchair or not, we're still faster than your ass. Well, I'm not gonna outrun a cop. We've gotta go. We're going. And if we're in front of Trevor, he'll be the one running from the cops. I shouldn't have come. I should have known. We're fine. We're gonna get out of here. Trevor Phillips, of course this would turn into a car chase. We're not being chased. Not yet. Not at all. Look, take a deep breath. We're gonna be fine. We just gotta get back to... Trevor's office? When Trevor says office, he really means... Get off the road up here. This must be Trevor's route through the mountains. Uh, dirt track. Might get bumpy. A burnout gas station by the Alamo Sea? I've seen the title of ownership, and judging by the glassware he ordered a year ago, I'm guessing it's a meth lab. A meth lab! Just perfect! Laboratory don't do it justice. It's more of a shithole where meth is made. Great! Nothing like a pharmaceutical bakery to prep the perfect stick-up job. Don't worry. It's gonna be fine. Look, you had any ideas about the bank? Are you sure we can't disable the alarm? The alarm is a UXVF-111 classification. Minute-long relay interval, third-party verification, multiple... Look at... Monitoring centers. Sure, I can disable it. But? But it'll cost more than the job is worth. Of course it will. So, what do we do? We walk away. It's not like we need the money. Uh, about that. You been day trading? No, God no. I mean, yeah. Looks like the road takes a dip and a turn after that bridge. Slow down. Yeah, yeah, I've been trading. No, that's not why we need the money. Then why do you need the money? <laughs> All right, so, there's this research laboratory on the coast. The IAA are using it to manufacture a poison gas that they're gonna release on U.S. soil in order to hope that the government increases their funding. Well, that sounds idiotically improbable enough to be possible, but what's it got to do with you and Trevor sticking up the Blaine County savings and loan? Agent Steve Haynes needs two million plus to finance a raid to finance a raid on the lab. And guess who's doing the raid? And guess who's paying for it? Ah, I see. Yeah, well, I don't really see. But I'm doing it. And it sounds like Trevor would hit this bank for candy and a pat on the head. Now tell me, can we do it or do we move on? Now you can do it, but you can't do it clean. How messy are we talking? Taking the cops head on messy. Well, they are dirty cops. That's what Trevor says. So do you think we can do it? Guys out here aren't trained like the LSPD. They aren't going to be prepared for a well-armed, well-drilled team coming straight for them. Yeah, well, we need an edge. Something to tip the odds in our favor. Yeah, I got a couple ideas. <laughs> All right. Well, we got here before the Lord of the Manor. <laughs> the man slows me down, always has. <laughs>